And now, what we're going to do next is we're going to develop an algorithm and we're going to explain completely why this algorithm works. So here's what you do. Choose a root vertex, call it R. It does not matter which vertex you choose as root vertex. And you're going to start with a trivial circuit, which is going to start and end at R. It goes nowhere. But now what we're going to do is expand our circuit. At any given time, we're going to have a circuit that looks like this. There's going to be some point in the middle of this sequence, and we're going to take that point and open it up by inserting another sequence where there used to be just one element. So now it'll be old, start new, end new, old. That's the technique that we're going to use. All right, so you start with the root vertex R, the trivial partial circuit consisting only of R. And now here's the iterative step. Given a partial circuit of the form R equals X naught X1 up to some XT, and again, that ends at R, that traverses some but not all of the edges of G containing R, Remove those edges from the graph. Let I be the least integer for which there's some vertex xi in your sequence, which is incident with one of the more of the remaining edges. Form a greedy partial circuit among the remaining edges that starts and ends with the vertex xi. Then expand the original circuit by opening it up at the point xi and replacing xi by the sequence that starts and ends with xi. Okay, let's make this concrete by showing how we got the circuit for this graph using this method. So I'm going to take my root vertex to be vertex number one, and that's common in coding practice. So. My first partial circuit consists only of starting and ending at vertex 1. Okay, now I'm going to do a greedy algorithm. And greedy, in this sense, is going to be go to the first place where first is in the standard ordering on the integers. Go to the first place which represents an edge that you have not yet walked on. So if I'm seeing sitting at 1, and I see 2 off this way, and I see 3 off this way, the greedy algorithm says go to 2. So I go to 2. Now I'm sitting at 2, and I see 4, 5, and 8. I take the greedy approach, where do I go? I go to 4. Now I'm at 4, I see 3, 2, 10, 7, 6, and 9. But I just walked on 2. I can't turn around and walk back to 2. But the greedy approach would take me from 4 to 3. When I'm at 3, the only choice is to continue on and go to 1. But now when I come back to 1, I'm stuck because there are no other edges incident with vertex 1. So the first loop halts with the circuit 1, 2, 4, 3, 1. Is that clear? All right, so now expand by opening up 1 to 1, 2, 4, 3, 1. All right, now continue. Remove the edges that you have walked on from the graph. So hopefully this picture looks just like the preceding one. Let me scan back real quickly. You see the extra edges? They're gone now. All right, so we have the partial circuit 1, 2, 4, 3, 1. First vertex 
in that list that's incident with an edge remaining is vertex 2, the second one. All right, so now we begin again. What does the greedy approach result in? Well, it, 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 there's, in this case, greedy is forced to go 2, 5, 8, back to 2. But notice it goes 2, 5, 8, 2. It does not go 2, 8, 5, 2. The greedy approach will go around the circuit in the order that I've indicated. Okay. So then you take the circuit 2582 and extend the original one by taking the 2 and opening it up to 2582. So my original one, 12431, that's at the top of the slide, has now been expanded to the sequence at the bottom of the slide, 12582431. Make sense? Remove those edges from the graph. So again, I want to watch the graph. This was the graph. You see the triangle, the 2582 triangle. Those edges are gone now. And now we take the first vertex for which you can continue. All right, so I have the partial circuit listed at the top of the slide, the 12582431. First vertex incident with an edge remaining is 4. So now I go to vertex 4, and I get a greedy approach. 4, cheapest one is 6. From 6, go to 7. From 7, you go back to 4. And that's fine. Then go to 9, then to 6, then to 10, and back to 4. But now you're stuck. So you expand by taking vertex 4 and blowing it up. And now the new partial sequence is the one at the bottom. Remove all those edges. And what's left are the edges in the triangle. First vertex incident with an edge remaining is 7. And the greedy approach gives you 7, 9, 11, 7. You expand one more time, one last time, and you get the new partial circuit. And when you've done that, all the edges have been visited, and you now have in hand an Euler circuit. And the algorithm halts. And that's where the Euler circuit that was first listed for this problem came.